Well, it went this far. Might as well change the bearings. Um, someone's been into this machine before and uh, changed the bearings. And, of course, they picked cheaper bearings. Uh, it's hard to say. I haven't got a name on these. Uh, they do say England though, so they're not uh, they're not Chinese bearing. I don't know how long ago. Uh, anyway, they're a, a double road sub-aligning bearing, and I'll show you what those look like. So here is the bearing I'm going to put in it. This is a uh, SKF 2306M, meaning that this is a double road self-aligning. Machine split bronze cage, super precision. Okay, uh, double road self-aligning bearings obviously have a larger compact of bearings, complement, and they are a type of angular contact. So these can actually be loaded, whereas in an angular contact, you'd usually use two bearings opposing each other and with preload, you tension how much play that you want in these. These are like that, except they come in single pairs. And the machine bronze is usually the highest grade. Very expensive. From a bearing house, about 250, but because they're open bearings, I found these. I found this one for $25. I'll look around for another one, and I'll show you how you tell if one of these is gone. Okay, so here's what came out. Machine cast iron, but a machined cage, but cast iron. Now cast iron is is um, you know is 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 good, and obviously these these are better than stamped, even phenolic cages. Now for some high speed bearings, phenolic cages might be better, but for this, machine bronze is the best. Now how do you tell? Okay, well how you tell is if you look on the outer race. You're going to see a little ring. See that? See that little line? See that little line? Right there. Do you see it? Just right there, that little line. That's the balls wearing into the raceway. Right? You can sort of see one on the back side. I'll show you it on a new one, and you'll see that line's not there. That indicates contamination, dirt. But if these are the original bearings, they're from 1963, almost 70 almost 60, what, 61, 62 years old. So that's the difference between open bearings and closed bearings. So in our new one, we don't have any marks on the inner raceway. It's perfectly smooth. You see that? Just absolutely perfect. That is how you tell. I don't know if I'm getting a good picture for you guys. That's how you tell if you've got a bad bearing. Now, the problem with those bearings is someone can pump them full of grease, run the machine, sounds good. Then once the grease moves out of the way, uh, start making noise again and start pumping grease like crazy. Especially when you see grease like this. This looks like ball joint grease. Not very good. Very hard and waxy. That's not actually that bad. I've seen stuff. You could carve your initials into it. At any rate, we're going to run a different bearing. And uh, I have to find another one of those. Anyway, that's bearings. Uh, probably a little more information than you need to know. But honestly... Uh, Make sure you know what you're doing when you're changing bearings. It isn't just numbers. Just a little word to the wise. When you say you're just going to clean up a machine, stick to your guns, which is what I said. There I am, changing bearings again. And it's the old clocker going, oh, what happens if they go in the middle of a job?